everyone, I'm Erica Hosking, and today we're here with the Perch Executive Chef, Chef Kimberly. Hi everyone. And we have a special treat for you. We're gonna be doing a holiday special with our Kalamazoo cooking items, specifically their infamous hybrid grill and their countertop pizza oven. So with that being said, I'm gonna let Chef Kimberly take it from here and walk us through that delicious menu. Hi everyone, welcome. So today we have a not so traditional holiday menu. We're gonna move on to a sweet potato roast with a nice um, white sweet potato uh, puree on the bottom. Beautiful herbed butter on top. So Erica, let's get started. Yes, put me to work. Okay, here we have our Ooh, beautiful sweet potato chips. Oh, do I see this? Wow. We have some shallots that I thinly sliced as well too. Great. Um, some clar clarified butter. It's really nice to use clarified butter because it's going to take away from the moisture. And this recipe is actually available on Kalamazoo.com. So if you wanted to go ahead and do this one at home, you could go look on there. It's under the sweet potato roast. Um, but I changed it up a little bit. I added a few things and I'll kind of explain that. Great. And also if you guys want to check out Kalamazoo Gourmet YouTube channel, they will walk you through everything you need to know on their Kalamazoo products, including maintenance, um, tips and tricks, recipes, all that good stuff. All right, so here's a puree. So this recipe, I actually did a puree at uh, buttermilk and then mm -hmm. I did um, white sweet potatoes. Um, so I really like that buttermilk because it's gonna give it like a nice little tang. I threw in some herbs, sage, rosemary, uh, thyme in there as well. So it's like this herby kind of like tangy uh, yeah. puree. It's really good. It's gonna be nice with the sweetness of the sweet potato, that nice little contrast. Um, and this is fun setting up, you're gonna see right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and just toss the clarified butter in the grill because we're gonna let that melt. And then what we'll do is we'll throw in a little bit more herbs in that, um, and then we're just gonna brush this on top of the sweet potato. Great. So go ahead and toss this in there real quick. Ooh, look at all that smoke. See that smoke? Wow. Well, some of that smokiness infused with the butter, or is it more yeah, just yeah. a- Yeah, yeah, anything you throw in your grill while you're smoking, um, it's probably not gonna be in there that long, so it's not yeah. gonna get too much of a smoky flavor, but you throw something in there for a long time, it's gonna get, get all of that smokiness in there. All right, so you're gonna take this right here, and we're gonna take some of that puree mm -hmm. and just spoon it on the bottom. Okay. So I really like this, because it gives us like a little extra, kind of almost like a casserole. Or oh. kind of like ratatouille, or have you seen ratatouille? Of course! <laughs> <laughs> well, they do that, um, what's the news cost again? Oh, right, isn't it ratatouille, right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, like, that's the name of the So the ratatouille that they do where they slice all the vegetables really thin and then you actually have almost like a sauce on the bottom. I kind of did that idea. Is that a good amount or should I put more? Uh, a little bit more. A little bit more. Okay. Yeah. Does that oh, look good? Yeah, that looks perfect. So basically so, you can't see any of the bottom. It's just no, this nice, thick, nice clean coating. Okay. Get, hold it up right there. Got that whiteness. Right. I think that's gonna be so nice, that contrast. All right, so I'm gonna show you this part. Okay. Uh, it's gonna be fun. So I put mine in water so they curled up. When you freshly <laughs> slice them, they will be flat. Uh, I just wanted to kind of retain their moisture. So what we'll do is we'll get about one, two, three, four, five, and then what you'll do is we'll get some shallots and kind of put them in there. Okay. And then again, grab another five or so. You don't have to be like perfect. Okay. And then some shallots. So it's nice to do this while you're stacking them because it's a little harder later. So then what we'll do is we'll kind of just put them on here like this. So it's gonna be nice. Oh, I see. Yeah, so it's gonna be like this beautiful, almost like shell-like look yeah. to it. All right. The fun part. Let's go to town. Let's race. Let's, oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> So, this is so fun. Right? What a great idea. It looks so pretty once it's So you cooked. can kind of do this with any root vegetable then? Yeah, you can. Okay. Um, even like, like I said, ratatouille has um, eggplant in there, yeah. or like zucchini or anything in there. Anything you can slice thin, you could do it with it. Um, and this is kind of a play on the traditional sweet potato casserole mm -hmm. that we're all used to seeing during yeah. the holidays. Yeah. So let me check our butter. Oh yeah, she's melted. <gasps> everything on your grill. You, you don't have to turn on any burners today. We are just doing everything on here. All right, it's all nice and warm. So this is ghee, but you could do um, uh, any clarified butter. All, you, all the clarified butter really is is just butter on the stove that you cook down or melt down. And you kind of just scrape the white stuff off the top. Ooh. Super easy to do. It's taking away some of that moisture. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw in some thyme in here because I got time to throw in some thyme in there. <laughs> herbs. 
I have dad jokes. <laughs> or dad jokes. I'm here for it. I like your dad jokes. Thanks. You can all uh, we can also pass those along to our viewers for yeah. the holidays, you yeah, know? If you guys want any jokes for Thanksgiving table. I'm here all Break week. Break the ice a little I'm bit. I'm here all week. You can find yeah. me at UTC, Costa Mesa, Glendale, Rancho Mirage, and our new showroom. In, Solana Beach. Yeah, there Solana you go. Solana Beach off Cedros. <laughs> where we will actually have a full live Kalamazoo set up there as well. Yeah, and then we'll, maybe we'll do some more videos, right? I'm ready for it. So how shall I pattern okay. the center? Uh, so Keep as long going? as it's covered, so I would do, it looks like you'll have room to do another circle. So okay. yeah, go ahead so and start for it. Okay. Doesn't it look so pretty? It, does, it looks like a wreath, like a holiday yeah. wreath that we're making. An orange one. <laughs> <laughs> so perfect for Thanksgiving. I love it. We've got the Thanksgiving colors in there. So what we'll do is we'll just top this with the clarified butter and a little bit of herbs um, and a nice uh, a layer of salt and pepper. So this is gonna cook at about 375. Um, the recipe calls for 425, but since I kinda wanna cook everything together, I'm gonna leave it at 375. It's a perfect amount of um, temperature for it to roast. Okay. We're gonna cover it with aluminum foil first for about uh, 45, 40 minutes, and then we're gonna uncover it and let it finish for 30 minutes. So it's about a good, you know, a little over an hour, an hour and a half to cook this. So that's ready to get pulled out of the grill. And that one's simple. We're just gonna serve it okay. on a nice plate. So let me go ahead and take this. Can't wait to see how the design turned out. Look at that. How pretty that is. Aww. So what we'll do is I'll go ahead and plate this for you. We'll take a little bit of that puree. You can warm it up. We're just gonna do like a little, kind of Make it look all nice and fancy, you know? What an artist you are. <laughs> Thank you. I got my swoosh game going, going strong. It looks so pretty. Look like little sweet potato Absolutely, chips. Absolutely, yes. Oh, it smells so good. It's like a cute little serving. It's oh, like I, a little I forgot bouquet. to serve um, you a plate. I was just thinking about myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I'd be okay with the puree. <laughs> right. Mm, the shallots. You can smell that caramelization of the shallots. They remind you of like little it's, like yeah. seashells or something. So pretty. <laughs> you know, it smells like home. It smells like holidays. It does. That's what it smells like. So I'm gonna take some micro arugula. This could be like a cute Get little appetizer. Yeah. Absolutely. Oop. Keep people at bay while they're waiting for the roast to finish mm -hmm. or <laughs> the turkey to finish. So that nobody gets hangry. Yeah, okay. exactly. We want to avoid hangry on the holidays. I think I could have, have this as the main course. Right? And be okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's so, so hearty, but fresh. It is. Are you ready for dessert now? Yes. <laughs> Thanks for previewing this with us. I think this does a wonderful job of showing the versatility of the Kalamazoo, and Chef Kimberly just really highlighted how easy it is mm -hmm. to cook it in your outdoor kitchen, especially when you have professional grade products at your fingertips. Yeah, so, don't let the bells and whistles um, discourage you from trying out to, you know, trying out just yeah. simple foods that you do on a regular Thanksgiving um, night or Christmas or just absolutely. during the, the holidays. It's like. Totally something you could do outdoors. Like, don't be discouraged. I mean, Kalamazoo, everything is pretty much done for you. All you have to do is throw your food on there. Perfect. Yeah. Well, thanks so much. If you guys are interested in tuning in later, um, we might have some follow-up on mm -hmm. our Kalamazoo and Solana Beach. Also, if you're interested in these products we showed today, you can go to our website and make an appointment with a sales consultant. Yeah, go to perch.com, set an appointment, and we'll get you set up. You can even come in and watch. You might the, see uh, Chef Kim. Yeah. I know. Yeah, we've been running around all showrooms. So yeah, thank you for watching, everyone. Thank you. Happy holidays. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. This is one in a series of showcase videos that you can watch on our Perch YouTube channel.